Okay guys, um, this is iPod Touch Master 0 and today I'm going to be telling you how to SSH into your iPod Touch iPhone. Now there's going to be a couple of requirements. Uh, make sure you have Wi-Fi and make sure you have it jailbroken because you need OpenSSH and it comes when you jailbreak it automatically. So after you have those things, um, you should be set. Now for Mac, you're going to need to download CyberDuck which will um, be in the sidebar. And for Vista, it you need to download WinSCP, which is also going to be in the sidebar. So after you download those, just so you know, um, I'm doing a video. I'm doing this. This video is tutorials on both, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's start out with Vista. Okay, um, go to WinSCP. Now for host name, what you're going to do is now um, take out your iPod Touch and go to settings, and in Wi-Fi. Um, the current Wi-Fi you're in, um, click that little blue arrow, and you're going to have an IP address showing. What you're going to need to do is type that IP address in in hostname, and for your username, it should be root, because it automatically defaults as root. Password is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Now this automatically sets us sets it to SFTP. If it isn't, make sure it is. And your host name is the IP address and then you should be um, connect. You should um, be set. So, yeah. Start phone ringing. So now on the Mac part, open up Cyberduck, open connection, and change this to SFTP. See, SSH file transfer protocol. Make sure the port's 22. And your server's gonna be same thing. Your IP address. And your username is going to be root again, so root alpine. Then you should be set and you can connect on both. So once you SSH, there's going to be a whole lot of things you can do. Um, I really recommend you guys. And yeah, so jailbreak your 2.0 or 1.1.4 any firmware first. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys subscribe to my videos. Um, Thanks, bye.